Hi guys, it's Kelly Driver here. Um, these are a couple of paintings that I did during, I think it was during COVID, of Western Australia, some aerial view photography. And um, this one in particular, it's of a lagoon at um, Shark Bay in Western Australia. And uh, after I painted these two, I decided I'd like to see if I could do an acrylic pour of um, this painting here, thinking it was relatively simple. Turns out it was very difficult to um, paint this as an acrylic pour. So um, particularly the, um, the red sand was really hard, to, much harder to do than I thought it was gonna be. Anyway, I did do one and I'm sharing the link with you here so you can see that. But I've decided I'm going to put some, um, uh, the phosphorescent paints that I bought onto um, the painting to make it glow at night time. So I'll show you my plan now. So here is my um, acrylic pour of the painting that I showed you and the phosphorescent paints that I bought, they were very expensive. They were 30 Australian dollars. So they're double the price of um, regular Pabeo paints. And um, I thought I could put the, um, oops, sorry. I thought I could put the um, blue and green through these areas here. That was my plan. Maybe even along this little reef area here and put some of the green in. So, um, Let's have some fun and see what um, uh, I can do. This was an experimental piece, so I have no qualms in having a go using these phosphorescent paints. So let's begin. So I've got silver in the um, really shallow water down here. And I think, um, I know that the paints are going to dry. Um, so it's this one here and this one here. So the, and they do glow in the dark, <laughs> which is incredible. So that is rather green. So maybe that would be good in this area here. I think we'll do that one in this area. I can also blend them together a bit too, of course, can't I? Now the only way we'll really know what I've done to my painting is when um, I turn out all the lights and do a little test. Now you can see it slightly on there. So I'm using a, a filbert brush here. It's got a round, round end on it. All right, well, we'll see what that does there. And then I might follow these um, lines here with the blue. So this is called a, a gel, a phosphorescent gel, which is, um, but it can be used with acrylics. And uh, I bought these a while ago when I saw them in my, um, in a craft shop. It wasn't an art shop as such, it's a craft shop. And um, they do, it's a lot of sewing and haberdashery and things like that in there. But they have Pabeo and um, Liquitex paints in there. And uh, I bought it some, <laughs> I bought it for myself as a Christmas present. And it's now um, March and I haven't used them yet. So <laughs> I decided it was time. Now I might put a little bit of the green along here where the reef ends and I'm going to mix the two together I get a um, palette knife to do that 
a little bit more effective. You can also buy yellow in the phosphorescent colour range in Australia, uh, but I don't use a lot of yellow and because they were so expensive, as I said, $30 for one tube, hence why I bought it for myself as a bit of a Christmas present. I've never bothered to put this painting up on my website for sale because I wasn't sure if it was um, really worth it um, because it was such an experiment doing a landscape of an acrylic pour, uh, an acrylic pour of a landscape I should say. Um, but you never know, this might make all the difference. Okay, so can't see anything. It's really no change at all. Um, so I will make the room dark and we'll see what uh, takes place. Welcome to my closet. <laughs> the, I think this is the darkest room in the house. So let's turn off the light and um, then we can't see the shoe boxes anymore. And um, we will see if the glow worked oh well it sure did yep it definitely did so this was the shallow water down here where the um where the sand was coming through the water then we've got the lines of the reef and then this was out in the deeper water here i actually put some touches you can't really see them but i also put a little touch of green on the um, bushes that were in the um, on the sand and you can see that in real life but I don't think it's oh yeah, yeah there you go there's some of the dots down there where the bushes were because I thought if the moon was hitting the bushes they can like glow and uh, I really I'm really glad that I did this because um, the water does glow at times, especially if it's full of um, little sea creatures that um, do that special glowing thing at night time. Um, and I've even heard that dolphins can make themselves glow in the dark, which is really cool. So I think I've picked the perfect piece for this. Anyway, um, this was a wonderful, fun experiment. And uh, I'm glad that I've done it. And it doesn't actually change anything about the painting when it's um, in daylight. And, but it's added an element at night time. So super fun. See you next time, guys. Bye.